Bloomington is accepting applications this month for resident-led traffic calming projects. The city is dedicating another $50,000 to the initiative. Holden Absher reports. Traffic calming devices can be controversial in Bloomington. Opinions vary whether it's the serpentine curves on West 3rd Street, neighborhood speed bumps, or recently painted back in parking spaces near the police station. The city's bicycle and pedestrian coordinator says the goal of these projects is to improve public safety by reducing illegal speeding. Not only does it increase the severity of crashes, but it also increases the likelihood that there will be crashes. Projects on busy streets often are initiated by city staff. However, residents can request small-scale projects such as speed bumps on neighborhood streets. Before filling out an application, residents must collect signatures from at least 30 percent of affected housing units. Last year, the process required a majority of neighborhood residents to approve the project, but Rick Bile says this threshold was too high. Illegal speeding, it is illegal. Like this is this is a behavior that um, it shouldn't put the burden of popularity on something that we know will reduce the likelihood of harm. After reviewing applications, city staff compile data for each area. They look at speed and crash reports, as well as how many children, elderly, disabled, and poor people live in an area. Each project is then scored and ranked, and the staff moves forward with the top scoring project. It's not going to be something where, um, where one neighborhood can get more signatures than another. Um, it is it is very much based on the rubric. But Robert Deppert, who lives at the top of a hill on Countryside Road, doubts the wisdom of most traffic calming solutions. But all I can think is you're putting a cement barrier in the middle of a road uh, to hopefully slow people down. But what people are going to do is end up running into it. Three summers ago, a 16-year-old driver came speeding over his hill, lost control of his car, and damaged two cars in Deppert's driveway. I don't think he would have lost control of his car had that speed bump not been there, right kind of over a hill. But city staff knows not everybody enjoys new traffic calming devices around town, despite improved pedestrian safety. I have no delusions that traffic calming is popular with everyone. Um, you know, there is, there is evidence, there is significant evidence that traffic calming devices are the most effective and most cost efficient way to reduce speeds. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Holden Apsher. City staff uses the high priority network in the Bloomington Transportation Plan to decide where to install larger projects such as curb extensions and changes to street parking.